Hey everybody, this is Chris with Simple Tech coming at you with this week's Simple Tech Tips. We've been doing a lot of Mac OS basics and today we're gonna to switch gears a little bit. We're gonna talk a little bit about photos. Um, there is a lot to learn with photos, but where I'm gonna start, it's not gonna be on the organization or how to import. It's really gonna be focused on editing because a lot of us know how to take a picture. With iCloud now, they sync with our phones when they're in our computers and so on and so forth. But how do you start getting the most out of your photos? And let's start with editing. So today we're going to talk about four quick things and that, you know, really shouldn't take a long time, but really the basics of getting started on editing a photo, how to duplicate a photo. So that way, maybe you want to keep both the original and your edited version so you can see them both side to side, side by side, or use them for different purposes. Who really knows, but duplication is a great tool. Um, where you can edit things. Um, comparing photos. So when you make edits, you may want to look and say, okay, what did the original look like? And you don't need to duplicate a photo to do this. Apple has a handy little feature built in um, where you could actually compare your original to your edited version of the photo. Uh, so that comes in really, really handy when you're editing photos. And the last one is in a situation where maybe you took pictures all in the same environment or in the same location or with the same settings on your camera. Maybe you're not using an iPhone, but a professional camera, and you want to copy and paste your edits that you've made onto other photos. So there is a great way to be able to do that in macOS photos. So that way you can make changes to a bunch of photos that are all the same when you have a situation such as that. Um, probably typically not something for the normal photographer, probably more for somebody who uses photos in more of an advanced feet, uh, setting um, and with a different type of camera than an iPhone. And so they wanna make those adjustments all the same all the way across. But you'll see more as we kind of get to that. So if you're ready to go, um, sit down, we're gonna get started, open up photos, find some pictures that you wanna tinker with or play with just so you can learn and let's get going. All right, so as you can see here, I do have photos open and I just have some images I found online and just threw them in there just for the sake of editing. Um, most of them look pretty good to be honest, so I don't know how much editing we're gonna be able to see in the changes I make, but we'll find out as we go. Um, so for photo editing basics in photos, right, you can use photo editing tools to make some simple changes to your photos, such as rotating, cropping, you know, framing the picture a little bit. Um, and there's also some more sophisticated tools, you know, things that help with light and exposure, things that help with color and saturation, um, eliminating red eye, uh, white balances, you know. So photos let you get as advanced as you really want to get. So it's really kind of up to you how far you want to take it when it comes to editing your photos. For the sake of this video, we're not gonna go through all the adjustments. We'll do some more videos that will um, focus on those adjustments. So look for those in the playlist um, and subscribe to us. So that way you get those updates when those do come out. But we're just gonna go through the basics on kind of how to get started with editing your photos. So first and foremost, you're just gonna simply want to do one of two things, either double click on an image or hit the, uh, select the image and hit return on your keyboard. And when you do that, you can see it zooms in here for us. And when we zoom in, in the top right hand corner, we have this word edit that we see. One of the nice things that also Apple has included on the screen um, is this auto enhance. So what this auto enhance does, it's a one click fix that Apple has provided to allow you to, oh, I'm sorry, not allow you, but to allow the system to kind of figure out what's best in terms of white balance and color and all these kind of good things. So just for the sake of showcasing and how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with this photo and let's see if we see any changes. And to be quite honest, I didn't, oh, there we go. It just took a little second for a delay. So let's, I will undo that. So you can see, looks a little maybe grayer or darker right now. Um, where I really saw it was the greens and the plants in the bottom left hand corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that auto enhance again. Give it a second and you can see that shift there. So it made it a little more vibrant, right? It did make some changes. 
Um, so if you're just looking for some quick fixes and you don't really want to dive in too far, that auto hands feature next to the word edit is a perfect tool for you to get started with that. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off again. And we're going to go ahead and this time we are going to click the edit tool and we're going to go over some of the basic tools that we see here at first glance. So first and foremost, I am going to start with this bar across up at the top. So up at the top of our screen, we got this slider. So right now it's set to zoom to fit, which means you see the entire picture in the screen in the window that you have provided in photos. So if I make the screen smaller or bigger, the picture is going to adjust with it, right? So if you're full screen, that photo will blow up and be larger. But let's say you're working like I do and you just want to zoom in a little bit. So you can zoom in and then you can use your trackpad or your mouse and kind of move around on the photo as you want to. So that zoom slider can come in really, really handy if you're really trying to focus on little details um, that may not be so easily visible when you're at the fit screen. Now the next three across the top here, you got adjust, filters, and crop. So the adjust are the more advanced tools that we were kind of talking about. So you can see you got light, color, black and white, retouch, red eye. And like I said, we're not going to go through all those today. Um, that's just to show you kind of where they're at. There are some great filters you can start playing with. So, you know, you want to do black and white, monochrome, you know, um, silver tone, noir. So noir, that looks pretty neat, right? You want to go vivid cool. I mean, look at the blue that comes out in the vivid cool or the vivid warm. You can see you get more orange and yellows, right? Or you can go back to the original. So filters are some quick overlays that you could basically put over your photo, right? Then of course you have your cropping tool. So your cropping tool is just as it sounds, you know, you get to choose what you see in your photo. It also gives you that ability to rotate or straighten the photo. Sometimes maybe you're standing kind of slanted or you're holding your phone or your camera a little slanted and you need to straighten it out with the horizon. Um, so what I'll do as an example with straighten, if you see this line back here, right, that's going across, it actually looks like it's going up from left to right. So maybe in this particular case, this, this is something you'd want to straighten. I accidentally clicked and so I screwed it up, sorry. But you can see it gives you grid lines so that way you can kind of straighten it out to the best of your ability, right? So here, now that horizon is a little more straight of the land going across um, on the image, right? And it's only negative one degree. So I really only changed it very, very subtly. This picture was pretty well done. Um, other things, you know, you could see when you're in that crop tool. So crop, definitely a place where you're probably going to go and, and take a look. Um, now, of course, here we got the eye is info for the info of the photo. This is to add it to favorites. This guy here with the square and the little arrow pointing to the left, that's your rotate. So this is where you would actually choose to rotate that photo if you wanted to. And then as you can see, when you're done editing and going through all these tools, you just hit done here in the top right hand corner and it takes you back out to the main screen. This photo is now in essence locked, so it won't be making any changes unless you hit that edit tool again to go back in there. Now in some cases, you may have a bunch of photos and you want to duplicate a photo. Maybe you want this photo in color, but you also want it in black and white. So you want two versions of it. So there's a couple quick ways to do this, right? First is to select the photo and you can right click on it and you can see down towards the bottom, you got duplicate one photo, right? Or you can use the keyboard command of command and D, which is one of my favorite ones to do. And so now you can see it sticks another one side by side to it and you could edit that one independently of the other photo. So like I was saying, maybe you want this one to be black and white. Um, so we'll go noir and we'll hit done. And then I'm gonna hit this little arrow here to go back to all the photos. So now we have two versions of that photo. So when you create a duplicate item, um, the duplicates does appear over here in this sidebar, as you can see underneath imports, right? So, and it'll remain there until you really adjust or change the look of one of them. 
Duplicate items that you add or import into your library may require some processing before they show up as duplicates, but that's a great tool to use also if you're like, I have multiple of the same photo in my library. Um, you could also check out our, uh, our video on um, finding those duplicates and how to handle that. All right, so now one of the things that we run into that um, when we're editing is, you know, if we're in full screen like this, we're in edit mode, what does the original look like? We don't know what the original look like anymore. And if you wanted to see the adjustments as you go, there's an actual way to do that. Um, there's two ways, really. The first is just holding down the M key on your keyboard. So with M, that's basically master, so the original. When you hold down that key, it shows you what it looked like, right? So going to the black and white, this is the black and white, M. There's also this button up here now in the top left-hand corner that you can see that Apple's added. So you can do show photo without edits. So if I, you click and hold and you let go. So that is a click and hold, not just a simple click. And there you go. You can kind of go back and forth with that. So that allows you to see what that original was without any adjustments. Now, I'm gonna come into this one really quick and I am gonna make a few more little changes just for the sake of, I don't need red eye, sorry. Um, we're gonna bring out some hues just for the sake of copying and pasting our changes to multiple photos, right? So one of the things that you can do in photos is copy and paste your adjustments. So let's say this is a picture of Yosemite Valley. It's one of my favorite places on earth although I haven't been many places. Um, but this is Yosemite Valley. Let's say this day, this was the lighting I had and the setup I had on this day in multiple locations through Yosemite Valley, or even at this location, but maybe different angles. So a lot of my photos were the same, and I'm gonna have to make those same adjustments to all of the photos that I have, right? You can actually copy and paste all these adjustments to multiple photos. So what you do is you come back into your edit screen like we currently are now. If we come up to image, sorry, I have some notes kind of hiding that. If we come up to image here, you can see that we have this copy edits option, right? Um, so I just slammed my desk so everything moved on me. Um, you have these copy edits option here. Yours might actually say copy adjustments. It just really depends on what version of Mac OS you're running. Um, I'm currently running um, Sonoma's beta and so it, the terminology, terminology has changed a little bit. So I'm going to copy those edits. I'm going to hit done on this photo and I'm going to go find another picture and let's say, we're just gonna pretend here, let's say this one of the lake with the little dock that we have here is where I want to copy and paste those two. So I'm gonna go ahead and come to edit again on this photo, and I'm gonna come back to image, and I'm gonna say paste edits. And then you can see when I did paste edits, all the changes that I had made in my adjustments were applied to this photo as well. And it looks pretty good, right? Um, you know, so holding the M key to show the masters and not. Now that's it. When, then you can go through and just paste all those adjustments or edits uh, onto other photos that were used in the same location. Now, don't forget, there is also a way, you know, where you can undo and revert back to your original, okay? So when we're in this edit screen, you can see here up at the top, you have revert to original. So if I were to click that, that's gonna remove all the edits that I've made and it's gonna take me back to the original image. Now let's say I did just make some edits here. I'm just gonna go ahead and make some just quick adjustments and kind of mess up the photo a little bit. All right, so I made some quick adjustments. Now let's say the last one or two adjustments I didn't really like, what you wanna do, if you just wanna go back, is just undo change range. That change range was this over here, over in the bottom right hand corner. It's this range here is what it's referring to, okay? So if I do edit change range, you can see it adjusted. If I undo change range again, so I can keep going back to revert um, 
my edits as I went if I wanted to do it one by one. Now, if I wanted to just do all the edits all at once, again, we go back to revert to original and it just resets all the adjustments that you've made. So what's great about this is the photos are non-destructive, meaning that you can make these changes and you're not gonna destroy your original because Apple is essentially has a file that goes in there with that master that goes, hey, these are the changes and adjustments they wanna to make to this picture. Doesn't duplicate the photo or anything like that. It's just kind of putting an overlay in there on the adjustments and so it's non-destructive. So you're just giving it commands on how to make those adjustments, which makes it really, really handy because it saves space and it makes it easy to work with and you can feel free to play with it without damaging any of your photos. And so then we just hit done. Now, of course, if you were on this screen and you made some adjustments and you were looking at them, you could also right click on the image and you could see we have revert to original. You also have some basic um, things like the rotate and the paste edits uh, that we were talking about. So for instance, on this one, I still probably have those edits copied. I could do paste edits and you can see that now that image has become black and white versus the color image that it was and we'll revert back to original. So that's just some quick tips there for you to get started with editing your photos. This is great for somebody who's new to it that's really afraid to damage their images or not sure um, how to kind of get started. What I really do suggest to you is play with it. Don't be afraid to get in there, click that edit button, make adjustments, rotate, play with the color and the lighting and things along those lines. So that way you can really get the feel of how it works. Because in the worst case scenario, you can always just go back and say revert to original and you're right back where you started. So I just want to say thank you everybody for watching this week. So this was uh, editing, getting started with editing basics in Mac OS Photos. We hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the video and we will have more to come that will really dive into those adjustment tools. So if you subscribe, you'll get notified when those pop in, plus other videos that we do on other aspects of Mac OS. Thanks everybody, have a great week.